everyone, it's Kat from Cat Stitch here in New Zealand. Welcome to April's Floss Tube. Yes, I know it's a little late, but um, I really didn't have anything to show, so I've been busy the last week or so um, getting everything done. For those that are coming for the first time that have found me, thank you very much for stopping on by. I hope you like what you see, um, and, and I really appreciate you taking the time. And if you do like it, then please make sure you subscribe. For those that are returning, thanks very much for coming back again. It's a bit sunny, but um, if I don't do this now, I may not get it done until I don't know when. So I'm just going to go with it, and I'm, I hope you guys will will bear with the weird lighting, um, which for me, it's a beautiful day here uh, in, in Wellington. Um, and so, yeah, I hope it's nice where you are. I hope you're, you're keeping warm if you're in a cold place. And um, I hope the weather's breaking because by now you guys should be, you know, hopefully starting to get a little bit warmer weather in those cold zones. Um, I know that we're getting a bit cooler in the morning um, and, and that sort of thing. But yeah, so thanks very much for stopping on by. Um, okay, so <laughs> I haven't done a lot of stitching. Uh, and God, my hair, that piece of hair won't sit down. Um, in, in the last month, I have. I mean, I've done a, a, another another model or two, but um, I've actually been doing a lot of other craft. So I've been playing with paint pouring and resin. And so what I will do is I'll show you what I've done at the end in regards to those. But for now, I'll show you what's what I have been stitching on. So I've got a few whips. Um, I do actually have a couple of finishes. Um, and I even have a few FFOs. So look, I'm, I'm, I'm just... All go. Um, all yippee. Um, there will be starts and finishes in the finish as well. Just letting you know. So, okay, so first up, we'll start with the whips. So the first one is Wood Witch by Raven Coven. Um, absolutely love this. I'm not that organised for any of the other ones, just so you know, so there will be inserts. <laughs> Um, so when I when I showed it to you, I think uh, I, I started it in January, didn't stitch on it in February, and then I really got into it in March or beginning actually beginning of April. I really got into it. So this is where I'm up to now. Hopefully, you guys can see that, and the sun's not affecting it too badly. So there we go. So I've now got the shape. <laughs> so that's you know that's all four sides in the right you know sort of like I know that I've got enough fabric so that's always good um, the fabric is 18 count Tibochina I think it's called by Fox and Rabbit um, and I'm using Weeks Dye Works Mulberry I had to think about that for a second <laughs> um, I won't have a lot of memory for a lot of things my, my yeah there's been a few issues uh, health wise in the last month but that's, I've, I've really, really loved, love, love, love working on this. This is, this has been like a meditation one. Um, and it has been just absolutely relaxing and, and, and enjoyable for me to work on that one. The next one is one I have pulled out of the whip pile. I started it back in 2022. And all I'd done, well, actually I restarted it again in 2023 because I wasn't happy <laughs> with my fabric uh, and my colours so I restarted it um, it is Alice by Ori Tien and when I I think I last showed it to you I had I was I was about to the door so let me just get this on here so there we go so I'd gotten about oops halfway across halfway to the to the door so this weekend I did all this this weekend so and it's and it's fun and I kept on thinking why did I put this down because the reason is is because I was working on Alice and the Mad Hatter and I didn't want to work on two at the same time and I just never got around to picking this one back up again so now this is my Alice for 2024 so um, I'll be doing working on this one I'll be taking it back in with me because I'm enjoying working on it. So those are the the modern folk embroidery one. 
is in the naughty box at the moment because it's not been, it's not its fault it's my fault because I'm an egg I forgot that I needed to put a gray row across the top and I've been stitching from up there so I've got to take all that last section out that I had done and I haven't done that yet so there you go um, so that's why there's been no progress on that uh, next up is a start and finish now this is a really special one I, I don't have a specific picture for it though because it's a multi-part our lovely New Zealand designer Cherry Parker has done another ball design that you can make you know like so when you put it together it's like a ball um and she's done the Halloween one because you know it just made my year um and the first part was released in March and there'll be another part released this month so there'll be a part released each month until August so it'll give you time to put it together for October okay and, and also to stitch it all up they are really quick to stitch they are very very quick to, well you know they're, they're a good night or two sort of thing depending on how fast you stitch all right um, now the idea is that you choose three different fabrics but that blend together or you can do it all in the same fabric you don't have to choose multiple fabrics that's fine um, there are eight of the large octagons four of the hexagons and then eight of the little squares now I'm doing it on 18 count so it's actually a lot smaller than I expected it to be um, which is fine but I'm using um, country stitch fabrics and do I have the names on them off still or did I take the names off because they were getting in my way I'll have to go and have a look in my book but here is the large one I don't know if you guys can hopefully the sun will there we go so that's the large one Oh, there we are. This one is on Antique Rose. And then these two are on Lavender Potpourri. So there we go. So those are my finish for now. Um... And I will eagerly be doing so every month you go to her Etsy store and it's five dollars for each month you also get a free chart a free ornament each month the thing is when they're all released she will release it as a single release but you won't get the extra ornament charts they're only available when you when you buy them monthly okay and it's only five dollars New Zealand oh, I know so I, I think it's only only a few bucks so really 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 good deal and you're getting like five charts you know five designs every month really so you know Cherry Parker I'll put her info down below um go and check her out on Etsy and 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 join us if you want to join us doing it it's the um Halloween Ball Sale 2024 would love to see you um, what you post and, and stuff like that it would be really really fantastic so I hope you'll you'll join us I'm looking at the wrong end of the camera there we go I hope you'll join us um, <laughs> and, and 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 have fun with it it's a great hello you know Halloween decoration and you can also do those you know each of the designs individually if you don't want to do a ball you know you don't have to do a ball you can just do all the designs and have a Halloween tree full of all these lovely little designs so yeah lots of options another whip finish uh, this one I started in on October 31st 2022 and it is by the blue flower it is the Tudor ermine and here we go now I did back stitch around the ermine because the white really wasn't showing up and I also for the for, these are supposed to be white I actually mixed um, the pale grey and white together to stitch those and of course I mean I, I chose different colours along the way anyway so you know but that's what I did so there we go so another whip finish I think that's got me down to nine 
Maybe 10 whips. This one I did in memory of my dad for his birthday. His birthday was on the 31st of March. So I started it on the 31st and I finished it on the 1st. Um, it is The Canada Mug by Shannon Christine. Just try and get the light right. I actually, um, you might see some sparkle. I don't know if you can. But I used some sparkle on there for um, the red. And a little bit of the, the lighter brown as well. But it's so cute. It's such a cute one. So that's going to be made into, um, I don't know where I'm going to make it into a flat finish or a pillow to go with my dad's things. So that was my memory one for dad for this year. From Emily Core. Now I see that she's got a new one that's come out called, which has I Am Enough. Last month she released I Am Brave. I can't remember if I showed you guys this, so I'm just showing you again. Um, but there's my one. Of I am brave and it's been stitched on 18 count da Vinci from picture this plus Quite lovely and I used 4245 for the, the color. I don't know if you can see it because the lights not gonna cooperate with me Excuse the dangly threads Yeah, so that's that one And then now you would have seen my unboxing of when the ladies from my New Zealand Stitchy group that I'm in, um, they joined me in stitching Cross Stitch Nation and they personalised each of the characters um, that they were stitching just to make them a bit different and a bit more unique, which is what every stitcher, you know, is. And then it was my turn. And I thought I'd, you know, dive straight into it, and I thought I'd, you know, black dress and stuff, and I thought, no, I don't want to do a black dress, I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah, so I did my one, so this is, this is my one, and I did the little cat, just get that down there, here we go, there we go. My little wand. And little witch's hat. So, my cross stitch nation. Original design by Heartstring Samplery. And I didn't do the bottom um, border. I, I decided not to. But here it is. And I absolutely love it. So, you know, I want to thank each of the ladies. So, we've got Debbie Angel. She's a lovely woman from down south. Um, who has a gorgeous cross stitch shop, um, Angel Crafts. Oh, you're right. Then we've got Lizzie the Stitcher, as as you would know if you you know. Make sure you go and watch her floss tube if you're not already. Then we've got the lovely Nicola C. Um, I I really really love this one because it stands for pride, and I love her her little pride heart. I I, I just sort of think that's. That's gorgeous. Then Jody, who is a prolific Santa stitcher, she made a Santa Jody. <laughs> and we got Zeb, who is our um, our runner, moderator, admin of the New Zealand Cross Stitch Group. She's really lovely up in Auckland, um, and you know, she, talk about a stash haul. Holy mackerel! <laughs> and then we have Nikki. Who did the most, look, look at those incredible flowers. Can you see them? Look at those little flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? So thank you ladies so much for joining me on this journey. It was absolutely fantastic. And I hope that it gives other people the incentive to maybe do the same thing. Get your own group together and, and get them all to stitch a woman um, or a person. Um, and, and make it their own. I've seen that Floss Tube Friends is now is out there. That could be another option. So, yeah. So those are my, my, my starts and finishes and whips and that sort of stuff. And then I've got my fully finishes. So I've, I've finished the pillows. I haven't, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to add anything to them. Um, but these are the ones that I did for Valentine's. So... 
which to me, I don't, I'll put them up all year, I don't care. Um, so we've got that one, with that lovely, with that lovely fabric on the back, which is actually velvety. <laughs> I keep on I keep on touching it because it's just it's actually really lovely and then we've got this one I, I can't remember off the top of my head who the designs are from I'm so sorry but if you're wanting to know just let me know and I'll look them up so we've got this one it's got the little buttons on um, and that's got the, the love on the back this one I keep on thinking this it's like a Stony Creek one, but I don't think it is. I think it's one that I had to adjust because I mucked up. That one. This one with love. I think this was a freebie. I'm sure I would have told you guys all this. Did I tell you guys this? A little Love Quaker. With the with the black and white love on the back. And then from Mojo Stitches. This was supposed to be a Biscorno, but you know me and Biscornos. I just I was getting very frustrated. So I've ended up making it a pillow. So here's my my pillow, my huntsman spider pillow. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those spiders love those spiders sorry i should give them warning shouldn't i oops sorry if you're yeah okay so spider warning um <laughs> and then i've got the spider web fabric on the back um love this and then this is one that i stitched for my birthday last year or was it the year before but I, I do need to put some trim on it to hide my horrible joining stitches <laughs> But um, I did a drum. My acorn house is now a drum. And I nearly got it lined up. I was just slightly off. But there we go. So it's quite it's quite hefty. Um, actually, to stuff these, I, this is all recycled filling. Um, I used what I, what I got out of the, the pillows and bedding that I cut up. It's in these that worked. The other thing I did was I did some more onion skin dye. Now I can show you guys I'm so happy because now I'll be able to use the fabric because I've held off using it. So I just had, um, this was the, the fabric that I got from, I think it was Moraine who was clearing them out um, and I got some onion skins and I just chucked it all in a jar at the different levels. So there we go, I wonder, I wonder if this will help. I don't know what the light's going to do for it, but there we go. So that's one. Two. This is the off-cut piece. This is the one that I think I had down the bottom, which is probably why it's the darkest. And then this big piece. It does look very gold and yellow and, and that sort of thing, but it's absolutely beautiful. I, I'm, I'm so happy with it. I love onion, onion skin fabric. I know that sounds weird, but again, it's the brown onion skins. I still haven't got any red onion. Well, I have, but it didn't have any skins on and I wasn't going to waste the red onion because it's too dang expensive. <laughs> so so that's, that is my stitchy stuff that I have been doing. Uh, since I saw you last about six weeks ago um, other than the the models which I can't show you um, so yeah so if, if if that's all you've come to see then thank you guys very much I do appreciate it um, and yeah I'll, I'll try to be you know a bit more on time next month but I sort of think you know once a month when a month it'll be sometime in May that I'll I'll come back again um, I haven't decided on my birthday start, which is on Anzac Day, uh, 25th of April. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a birthday start. I have a couple in mind, but I'm not 100% sure. So if I do choose something, I'll note it on, on Instagram maybe or something like that. 
and if anyone else wants to join <laughs> join in but knowing me it, it's just going to be whatever hits me the day um because i'll be on my own and um i'll be up early to go to the dawn parade as i do every year so that i can be there in memory of my dad and my grandfather um I don't really celebrate my birthday on my birthday. I usually do it on the 23rd, which was my granddad's birthday. So actually, I'll, yeah, I'll probably have a new start on the 23rd because um, I do tend to do one for granddad. I haven't chosen it yet. I do have one in mind, but I'm just going to double check, <laughs> as you do. Um, but other than that, I, I mean, I want to do some more work on my Woodwitch and on Alice. I'm actually enjoying pulling out one or two of my whips at a time and just giving them full focus to see if I can finish them um, and and that sort of stuff and it's and it's actually really nice doing that I, I, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself um, and my other crafts are, are giving me a lot of bliss as well for those times when I can't focus enough to stitch and I, I get edgy um, and some my other crafts now are keeping me relatively calm and um, not going, <coughs> you know, off the edge. Um, okay, so yeah, so if, if if the stitchy stuff is is all that you're here for, then thank you, thank you very much for taking the time to come, and um, we'll see what I've got to show you next month. But now, for those that want to stick around. What the heck have I been doing? Um, apart from making a total mess in my room. Oh my god, my Zen room is just... I have a pile of stuff over here because I need some new storage. Because of all my, all my, all my resin stuff and all my, um, all my painting you know, gear and, and stuff like that. Now I need to somehow try and work out space to, <laughs> to accommodate that as well. But meanwhile, let me show you a few of the things that I've, I've done. Um, in my first month and a half of paint pouring and uh, resin. So, paint pouring. I did these little ceramic pots. I haven't varnished them or anything yet. I don't know if I'm going to. But, oh, there we go. Now you can maybe see the colour a bit better. So we've got that one. One of them I missed up. I, I, mi I missed a big chunk, which is unfortunate because it's one of my favourite, you know, ones. The stripes look really good. <laughs> There's that one, and this one, which is my favourite one. Just need to give it a bit of a buff. And then I've also done some small pink paws. So got these sort of ones here. We've got that one. And these ones. So those are the smalls. And then for the bigger ones, I've got the blue. The black and gold. And the bronze and gold. So those are my painting attempts. Paint pouring is a lot of fun. It's very messy. But it's a, it's a lot of fun and it's not planned and it's however it comes out is how it's going to come out and whatever colors you want to put together and and it's just it's just fun um, and that sort of thing and then for the resin um, okay so of course I did some Halloweeny things so I've got this little gremlin guy I just need to tidy him up a bit because I did a slight overpour so I just need to wait till I get a dremel and then I can tidy it up and I did some skulls because, oh my god, they're so much fun to make. Look at those. Aren't they cool? 
they are very cool. And then I did, I got, I, I did some little ones as well because I'm sort of thinking these might be little keychains or something like that. So this one here, that one with the pinky sort of tone to it. Had to do a purple one because you know, so cool. Another one which looks like it's got brains. These actually, the, the, the top part will actually glow in the dark. Uh, the pink. And this one. So I've got those done. And then I also got this ornament. And then I didn't do too well on the placemat thingies. So there's that one. I do like this one. For a placemat. Uh, for a a copy, copy mat, whatever. Could have it either way, really. Um, now I've already shown you these ones, I think. I'm sure I have. Um, a spider web. Didn't quite work the way I wanted. This is rose. And it's holographic. I need to get some opaque colours because it, you know, if if I'd had a darker, um, which wasn't you know see through, it would you know the, the holographic would be a lot better. And this one I had to slight overspill because my hands were shaking so much and I didn't get back in time to remove them, but I actually quite like it. There's my bee. My bee. Be happy. Um, so there's those ones. Oh, here's another thing I painted. The K. I just let that catch all the drips that was coming off that last lot that I did. Ooh. Okay. So I have this little pot, which I thought would be, you know, great to put little orts into or stuff like that. I've also got this little jar. I did this is what I did this weekend a little lid this I want to see if maybe I can I don't know put a little three inch one on there if it's a C nautical sort of design um, not sure how I'm going to use that yet this one another one that I thought would be good for an ort catcher I love this one. Definitely want to do more of these. I just need I just need to get more resin. So if anyone's got any resin they don't want, pass it my way. Um, this lovely shell, little tray. I love the colours in it. And the sparkle, because you know, I like sparkle. This little one, and I actually have these little bubbles that I can put into it, but I want to do this one as a big bowl. Um, or, or a serving tray. Got this one, oops, which is like a, a wood, a wooden tray, and it's got little fishes on it. Sorry, monkey. <laughs> got this one, which is a trinket tray. Got the bronzing at the bottom. Quite as solid as I'd hoped it would be for some reason. Not sure why. But I'm just going to leave it and hope that it hardens up a bit more. And then my favourite thing that I made, which I was so excited about, is my coffin. It's my little coffin. Yes, monkey. I know you like this one too, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> You like this one too, eh? Yeah. We like the coffin. So I did this lovely little, it's all sparkly inside. It's really hard to get on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's so sparkly. Um, a little bit of red down the bottom. Would have been really good if that red had actually stayed more visible, but never mind. 
Oh, there we go, some more red. So there was actually a lot of red in here. So, I mean, you know, it was all lessons learnt. And I had so much fun doing it. I have definitely got some favourite moulds that I want to, to do more of. I got a bunch of... bunch of hearts as well. So I was just using these to sort of, you know, any leftover resin I was putting into the heart moulds. Um, and, and just to sort of see, you know, what would, you know, what I could get. What's that one? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun, you know, and I know that, you know, I, you know, stitching is always going to be my first love, um, because I definitely can't afford another expensive hobby. <laughs> oh, another thing I forgot, I made, it's a little honey jar, oops, get it in the right way, a little honey jar, and it's got a little teddy head lid, it's only little, it's only ickle, but, Tony, a lovely lady, mentioned to me that it would be really, really good as like a tooth fairy. A, a, you know, told you a little tooth. For me, I might need to use it soon. I think I'm losing that. I think that tooth, that tooth there is coming out, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I've been doing the last six weeks I don't I sort of keep on saying I don't think I've done very much over the last six weeks but then when I sort of mess it all together it's like oh okay it just doesn't feel like I've done much it doesn't it doesn't feel like I've kept myself as occupied as I should um or that I could so there we go so I'll see you guys next month uh, if you've got any questions please just post them down below I love getting messages down there and you know um yeah, make sure you, you ring you do the little bell thingy so that you know when I'm gonna post next time. Okay? So meanwhile you guys take care. Don't forget to march to the beat of your own drum. Thank you. That's where the magic happens and thank you so much for stopping by. I totally appreciate it and I Yeah. I just about didn't record because I didn't know if, if Yeah. I thought I'd come in and say hello. <laughs> so, hi, bye, I'll see you next month. Toodles.